Welcome back to another episode of Only Fians with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and my guest today, Ooh, whose busy. 30 minute special premieres on YouTube today. But I mean, it'll already have been out, probably cracked 100K views in the first hour. Colm Turrell is here, everybody. What's the title of yours? Did you, what is? It's just, they're all just called 30 Minutes with. Okay. So, Cast Digital presents 30 Minutes with Colm Turrell. I like it. It's part of a whole series. It's classy. So, watch them all. Watch me, watch Lewis, watch Kurt, watch Dave Smith, watch the rest of them. Yeah. Jordan yeah. Jensen. Jordan you literally Jensen. said everyone but the girl. You're the well, you worst know what? person I, I, I've ever I've met. I've yet to see Jordan promote anyone else's specials, so maybe she can fuck herself. Right. <laughs> How about that? So, so don't watch Jordan's out of so pure spite. You are so jealous of her. She's no, fucking I'm not great, jealous dude. Of, I'm she's a, selling tickets on the road. She's crushing. I do okay sometimes. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not selling tickets, but I'm giving them away. <laughs> at the fucking Skank show, you were so funny because you had that show at Laugh Boston. You were just like, yeah, come to the show. You were giving away tickets to people. It was hilarious. Fucking but you had a great time at Laugh Boston. Two, 200 plus on a, on a Thursday night. That's, That's not good. bad. That's not terrible. No, it isn't. It's not great. It's not like like award winning or anything. Oh, it's not I'm terrible. It's I think you should be really proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, no, Jordan's great. Jordan's great. <laughs> Uh, I'm not jealous of Jordan. No, <laughs> you get out of your own head. No, but I, I, there's people I am jealous of. I'm not jealous of Jordan. Who are you jealous of? Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. He's so rich. He's going to make like $15 million next year. Well, how many yeah, like how many Notre good. Dame polo shirts can he like buy? Like none yeah. of you guys know how to spend money. But isn't that part of his charm? How like down fucking ugly earth. and retarded and he is like? Isn't that like even more, more annoying? I said down because to you're earth. like <laughs> no, he's like a big you fucking said ugly and ogre. Retarded. Yeah, he dresses like a fuck. He found his clothes on the on a, on a train, <laughs> but he and that's part. That's even more annoying. You're like, I wish you were like more like Schultz. Lisa was Schultz. At least rub it in my face Lisa, a little. Yeah, Schultz has like a two thousand dollar haircut. Then I can haircut. call you corny. <laughs> Schultz has a two thousand dollar terrible haircut, <laughs> and you go, damn it, god damn it, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I could pull it off. I don't he, know. He posted that clip where he was shot from behind and it looks like two different heads mashed yeah, together. It's I don't know. Like, yeah. It kind of reminds me of like what the lesbian girls on like this Who Played Softball used to do. <laughs> they would shave the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. Just I did. See, it's, a, it's like that's going to creep up over time. I'm telling right? you, this is this is the equivalent of in, 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 in a year from now. He's so rich now. This is what he's doing. And right. he's so popular. That in a year from now, he'll be on a submersive. Going to you see the Titanic. You think he's the submarine? No. That's, just, that's like pure rich guy boredom, where it's like, yeah, let me... <laughs> that does make me think, like, you don't know what to spend your money on. If that's, you're yeah, well, there's like going to get these, like, a mustache trim that you, costs $1,000 and you get yeah. dusted with gold after. Yeah. It looks like, he, it looks like he got a lobotomy or he's something. He's always and so nice to me. I like love Andy oh, Schultz. Oh, Schultz is one of the sweetest guys in comedy. Again, uh, it makes me sick. It makes me, yeah. He's so <laughs> Again, rich. So nice. Beyond so nice. nice yeah and, like he has like an umbrella like he's helping so many people yeah his wife is great too which fucking annoys me his she wife is, really seems down to earth and cool, like doesn't want like all the um she, she's a fucking best of fucking, remember he all had, these guys like he dated so a chick that was like all about wanted like to be in the like spotlight and i don't know what she, she was like a dancer or something and they had like a falling out oh wait wait he, is that like, the one who used our toothbrush to yes i was just gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> he like very pissed on it. He peed on her fucking toothbrush, dude. <laughs> but, and he was like, you know, I have a new girl now. She's not so showy like the old one. I had to make brush with my piss. I made her brush her teeth with my piss. <laughs> he got he got like some sort of a thing again somewhere. He was like, oh yeah, she wrote something. She wrote about a thing, it. and yeah. then she was like, I think it was when he got engaged, or like it was when it was yeah. like a a big moment in his life, though. Maybe a yeah. Career. And then the next the next episode. So he was like, all right, first of all, she says I cleaned my sneakers with her toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how we, and then everyone was like, all right, fair enough, I guess. It's like a streaker. If, if, if a streaker so gets on, the, if a streaker runs onto a pitch and no one chases them, they kind of go, oh, 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 well, I guess I'll just walk off then. Like, no, everyone just like sits there and watches them. I know. Yeah. So shout out to Shul, shout out to Shane, shout out to me. Shout out to Colm Turrell. 30 minutes with Colm Turrell. Has 30, your girlfriend ever experienced that? 30 minutes with me? That's crazy. No, 30 minutes is nuts. I figured that would be a lot. Maybe if, if you're including foreplay as in the, like <laughs> I, I, the I dinner. I thought you were going to say a Netflix show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
30 is wild. I don't know. Well, That'd that's be... a love making session. You're right with the foreplay. We'd we'll have to start there. I guess. I guess collectively, probably, if you if you were to join different sex acts. Over the course of a night, like you know, you gotta I mean? get the leash, and you gotta five get minutes here, five minutes here, five minutes there. You know, you have an obstacle station set up. Yes, yes. Now you suck my dick, then I fucking great. That's nice. Yeah. What about the fight? The fight before? What about that? that what fight? Just, you know, you're verbally fighting. That's how you have sex every time. You have to fight with her. You can't just like sweep her off her feet one day. Sweep her off her feet. <laughs> I've got a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm like that too, though. I love a good fight, especially if you make me laugh during a fight. Oh, it affects my vagina. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah, beyond it must my be, control. Must be, uh, tw- like, That's not damaged. It's fine. Yeah, uh, interesting. What your girl's crying, and that's probably what gets you hard. She's always crying. <laughs> Wait, maybe if you made more money, she'd be happy. Of course. Watch the special, you guys. We need to catapult Calm to fame. Well, tell him about the dog. What fuck? Oh, well, I mean, my people will love this because this is a very dog positive podcast. Colm's working towards owning his own canine. What breed were you saying you were interested in? Oh, I have no idea. Get a mutt. I don't think I would really care that much. You don't care. Get a mutt. You're a mutt. I love all the dogs. The problem is that ideally I'd love a big, very smart dog. (laughs) But I don't think you can. You just want a fucking slave. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I want to be able to. I want to be communicating, and and I'd be like, my career's not going well. Mm, I don't feel very good, Rover. I didn't sell any tickets in Philadelphia, September twentieth, Rover. Way to plug I'm in afraid, the first ten oh, minutes, Rover. I'm afraid they're gonna cancel my show in Philadelphia on September twentieth, Rover. You're a podcasting give, champ. Give, give me Paul. <laughs> um, Have you seen the things where the dogs can step on and speak to the the owners? No. Oh, yours would but, be um, like. Call child services. <laughs> Your dog would be like, please help, help me. Help. Get me out of Astoria. <laughs> Just all the neighbors are yours. Help. Help. Um, I'm hungry. I did watch this. There's this little Japanese doggy. Um, it's a Japanese breed. and uh, It's like. Uh, oh, Shiba Inu. You want a Shiba? They're mean. Uh, they're yeah, ne- yeah. They're mean to not their owners. Correct. So that's fine. I don't care. You don't care if you have a mean dog. I, I'm, and that goes for anyone in life. You could be horrible, but if you're nice to me, I don't care. <laughs> right, but like... <laughs> Why? Say you're like friends with somebody who gets into fights with every person you've ever met. That doesn't bother you as long as they're nice to you. Because that's what ha- having Kinda, a shitty yeah. dog is like. Like, you're like, hey, good morning, Sam. And your dog's like, fuck you, Sam. Like, it's just it's an energy that's kind of unnecessary. You also well, get- you know, it's like that when you're dating someone, isn't it? You see them be like cunty to other people and you go wait a second doesn't that gross you out I saw my mother once fucking because my mother works in retail I saw her be like I didn't realize my whole life because my mother's the sweetest woman you right. ever been in your life and, but she's a fucking see you next Tuesday cunt but like <laughs> I, when no no she's not but when she when she worked because she works in retail but she was the manager so but like I've, I saw her like grill a fucking employee one time I was like oh my god oh, I had really? no idea she was just like like buried her and i was like I, did she not show up or something something like that there was like a, for her. some sort of a shift situation and my mother just grilled and i remember going jesus christ my uh, mom worked at lane bryant do you know what that is no it's a store for fat women and my mom weighed 90 pounds when she got married she's always been skinny she worked nice. there so she could be mean <laughs> so she was just like hell fatty she's like you need a bigger side like she was a this, is a, big, this is a big store <laughs> and not that big Okay. <laughs> Find a hi. zoo. Can you imagine? Like, hi, welcome in. Skinny fucking bitch. I guess. It's hard to it's employ fatties. Lizzo made that mistake. And the big stores, you kind of do want a big person to be working at your big store, right? Yeah, or don't you want to be comfortable or you're not going to buy anything? Mm. I don't know. I feel like once you get to a certain size, you probably just start ordering stuff on Amazon and don't leave your house. Yeah. Just, it's going to depress me. Um, but I want to get the dog. So the goal is because where I am right now. Get rich, get a dog. Are you even going to be nice to the dog park people though? Hmm? Oh, I'm not looking after the dog. The dog is, <laughs> the dog is going to roam the streets like a real dog. Dogs, when I grew up, that's where dog, the so, dogs I were. Mean, so when mine. I grew up in Ireland in the 90s, dogs were just roaming yeah, the streets. Yeah, but there wasn't like busy streets. It wasn't New York City. You grew up on like a field with no, like. No, Dominicans about to steal it. Yeah, you're right. 
you, that's the, unfortunately in New York City, just Dominicans who steal your dogs. So yes, <laughs> only if they're purebred, they're smart. They know which dogs really? are worth money. Yeah, you always see like a little like multi poo missing or whatever. It's very rarely like a what? senior Chihuahua. What's a multi poo? Maltese poodle mix. Oh, multi poo. Yeah. Now I want a multi poo just for the sake of being able to say that and annoy my friends. <laughs> Oh, he's just a little multi pill. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's a multi pill. <laughs> oh him. Yeah, he's a mixed multi pill. <laughs> just all day standing outside. How fucking cute are oh, those nice. dogs? Oh, I, I, but the problem is I can't stand I, these types of dogs. No, though. I love those little doggies. Uh, I, mean, I love it. Uh, York, I Yorkshire feel Terrier. something. I feel something when I interact with them. I do love them too, but the concept of them no. I don't really agree with. A Yorkshire Terrier is great. Um, I mean, just get a hamster. I don't know. I need a big dog. Now that I'm in my big dog era, oh. I need a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on my big dog era. Um, Please remember Ernest. Ernest wasn't that small. He was probably no. like 30 pounds. Yeah. I'm pointing to his ashes. Okay. Oh, is that what that is? That's in that box. Oh. Every guest does like a little bump of them before they go. Yeah. That's sad. Sad he's gone. <laughs> um, no, you're not. No, I, I didn't say I'm sad. I said it's sad. But yeah. I guess I could rephrase that and say I'm sad and why do you like these little dogs Colin I like a little I don't know I just like little doggies I don't know I like a little Yorkshire Terrier and then I and I guess I like it is it not a Chihuahua but I think they're too stupid right you I said think. Chihuahua Chihuahua you said it with an Asian accent what is it Chihuahua, Chihuahua. <laughs> mm, getting hungry <laughs> <laughs> so are they a five Wagyu Chihuahua listen yeah I like those little guys you too like them? what's the little yep the little that's what they do Pomeranians though. is it yeah but I think they're too stupid are they like dumb like they yeah. like they, they can't give you a paw like they're too stupid they're just, their tongue is hanging out you no know, they can give every dog can give paw I swear to god oh look at this little guy but like this guy's gonna put him just, in your pocket I just I need more dog yeah this dog, the, the way that dog catches a frisbee okay that dog can't do anything yeah. athletic you're not fulfilled I, I get it I would accept the dog but he. I'm not fulfilled. I accept the dog. I, but I'm not fulfilled with the dog. I'm not going to see another yeah, dog behind his back. I need a big dog to fill me up. I need a big black, black, black Labrador. dog yeah. to fill me up. Big that's black. what I need. Yes, that's fair. That's look. That's what is. I got. Yeah. There is something about just like, because you get that dopamine hit the second you wake up every day. Because he's just because the dog's just like lick, like little gentle yeah, kiss, like good morning, yeah, love you, I love yeah, you. But, but, it's like I love you, even though you got wasted last night, and like peed the bed or whatever Colin did. did but I, like he'll love you no matter what. He, yeah, that's When's all. When's the last I time you peed the bed? I used to do it often, uh, so I feel pretty comfortable asking. Uh, no, not for, not in recent memory. You have to be honest no. on this. No, 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 no. I'm not. Like, I'm not like a drunk who pees the bed. Oh, I used to be. Bad. No. But like, I'm like a regular sober guy who shits his pants a lot. So <laughs> ew, ew, I don't know. Ew, ew. It's not nothing to do with yuck, that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> oh, dude, I, sh I fucking. Do you shit boxers or I briefs? Sh I shit my pants the worst ever in well, my life recently in Houston. It was fucking. I mean, it was like shocking. Like, Hall of Fame. Um, I might have to go to the. In public? No. Oh. I. I, I got back to the hotel. You... I like I got back to the hotel and I had a bag of something. I don't know, probably a bag of beers or something. And I was like dying for sure. And but and I had to like put the bag down and clench to, to like no to get like the door open because I had to okay. put the bag down. And whatever way I bent, it was just like oh no. And You're a hundred years in, old. You and have it, it no just control came out. of your it, bowels. Yeah, it just flew out. And I mean, <laughs> and then I pulled my shorts down. And then it like all fell out and then got all, uh, like I slipped on it in the bathroom. It was <gasps> nasty. Kala. I mean, it was like a fucking hunger strike. Kala. It was everywhere. I mean, there was shit. Why couldn't you get your ass on it the just, toilet? I'm, I just did. I, Why are I, you I, panicking and sprinkler? Oh, you like, know what? Because I felt like <laughs> shitting my pants. But my, I said, my why wait is, four seconds? <laughs> why not just go now in my shorts in the La Quinta? Well, why can't you get your ass to the sink or something? I tried. Had I had room 219, it would have been fine, but I was 221. So I, by that extra four seconds, <laughs> it was everywhere. And it, 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 it was all over the floor. And I, I, to, get I went it. through like four towels. And it was crazy. Straight. What did the maid say? Did you interact or I you were gone by? No, I, I gave her a dollar and got out of there. A dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 a hurricane. I, I, I clean. I put all the towels like in a bag. I just like put them in you a tie them in a bag. bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You sign them. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to come back. <laughs> Call no, I wrote that. I wrote a little note saying "mucho sorry." <laughs> <laughs> Lo siento, baby. Um, wait. Yeah, we have look. to work on your um Bells? shit. Maybe yeah. I need to do Kegels or something. Are you are you Kegling? 
I am right now that you brought it up. Yeah, I should do some kegels. Hold on, take your take your shoes off now. Oh, sorry. Should I take? You don't. You don't have to. I'm joking. It's for the guys. But um, you can if you want to. What do you? What do you want? Like people stop. You're giving a free fee. Free fee. People stop watching around like 15 minutes in or whatever. So you bring the feet out. That's when we bring the tootsies out. You crafty bitch. Retonchin. Nice. (laughs) Right. Five more minutes. I'm taking my nuts out. (laughs) Should I take my nuts out? Just one nut. Why not? My nephew told me that because I sent him jeans. He doesn't wear jeans. He's like 10. He comes up to me. I don't wear jeans, Auntie Karen. I was like, all right, why? He goes, it hurts. I was like, hurts what? And he's like, my balls. He, my nephew told me that. Wow. Cut this out. He's going to get pedophiled. Uh- <laughs> That's fair. He saw a porno. He was like, this is this is the... Oh, oh Auntie, my jeans hurt my cock. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'm like, oh no. Can I'm we like, come up with a euphemism? Mm, well, I guess I'm going to have to fuck you now. Step, <laughs> step on, Stop. step on, whatever. That's the, that's the video. I didn't make them. I didn't create them. Are you addicted to porn? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What's it like? I don't know what. I think I am. I don't know what the schedule, like, I don't know what the thing the is. The schedule of addiction Like, is? I don't know how many. Daily? How, how many? Are you jerking off daily to porn? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's considered. At least on average once a day, May it, it might be like a. Get, get all seven in on the Monday. Just get the dick. Shut up. <laughs> Especially if I'm, if I'm on the road in a hotel, I am ripping my monkey See, apart. I'm not, I think I like to, I need to be in my own cocoon. I really? prefer being in my own safe space. I have a, like a routine, you know? You know what it is for me? I don't want to get bed bugs in my pussy. Are you staying in a place that has bed bugs? No, you're staying, maybe. You're staying in, a, in the Four Seasons or some <laughs> I shit. Know, but nine, you don't know. Like my monthly rent on you one night in some know. dump. In some, <laughs> um, no, so I think what that is, is I, I try not to jerk off too often. You gotta, like, it's just, I think more than two a day, more, two a day is kind of crazy. Absolutely is crazy. They say, I think that they say statistically, I can't, did you pull it up? I'm like, what is this? Um, I think statistically, like, once a day, they, they consider that. If you're watching porn, I guess that's an addiction. Honestly, yeah, I'd rather jerk off. But that's crazy to me. I in don't my think mind. it should be. I don't think it is an addiction. I think if you aren't going to work or you're like losing relationships or you're like fucking up your life. Yeah, of, yeah, you're, you're like, yeah. I, I I missed a whole meeting because I was jerking off. It's just so nice. It's so fun. <laughs> I, that's my, well, I feel the same way. And like women aren't really encouraged to jerk off. Certainly not as like. Little, no, go go nuts. Women. Little, okay. Okay, crazy because <laughs> at least you can refuel and fucking like it's not like a guy who only has a couple of fucking. Or it's hard for us to like, well, not all women you can hats off to those ladies, not but I run out of steam after like one or two. I'm like, I like to masturbate into nap time. That's what I do. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I'm like a 3 p.m. And it's when like all the guys I'm hooking up with get texts. <laughs> oh, it's the witching hour. <laughs> Karen's trying to go. And like, because uh, you, you got to send out a wide net if you, if you only have 30 minutes, you know, you're like, who's going to respond? And then nice. I just need them to sort of like get me aroused. And then I go into my doctor porn or I like old guys and young girls. So you're about to jerk off. You text these guys, go, go send me a photo of your dick or something like that. Maybe, so yeah. Or I'll send them something hot and like and just then, for the compliment, just for the yeah, attention to get yeah. me. Yeah, I miss Tinder. I used to like Tinder just sort of, I felt like a little confidence boost. Just be like, oh, this bitch fucking into me. You need more confidence? You're on stage every night getting laughs. Bombing. Girls come up to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm on stage every night bombing my ass off and apologizing to women for bringing up the fact. <laughs> no, that clip you posted i don't know if it was today about the immigrants that's very very funny oh thanks mm-hmm. thanks check out my special what do you, what do you say there's 1.4 billion people I chinese got, I people got, there's 1.4 billion chinese people living in flushing queens <laughs> there literally are if there's you've so ever many. gone to that stadium or whatever if ever gone out there i do i i yeah i wish i actually you know the special was good. like the special the special was produced by other people so it's like i just took the opportunity when i could but there are some of those jokes where i go i wonder if i if i had just done a few more months on the road with that i wonder if i could have got it to another level but like you could have added just, another layer yeah that's just gay comedy talk but i do think that's a good idea because all us immigrants genuinely immigrants look at mexican immigrants getting put in the cages mm-hmm. and we're all like well what they do sucks to be you yeah. yeah look at us go out to sheep's head bay every fucking russian out there is a fucking well behaved illegal contributing immigrant. member of society. Yeah, but they're though. illegally here. Yeah. They all snuck in. Yeah. And it's it's but they're very, quiet. They're fucking <laughs> below the radar. Star, like the Mexicans coming across from the mariachi band. La 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 la. You know? It's like of course 
Of course, you're getting put in a cage. I've said this before, but all the Mexican busboys I've ever worked with, every time I would like be reaching for something, they would do a drive-by. And they would somehow they would always have a half boner. They would just work with like a half <laughs> boner. And they would do it like across my butt cheeks with their half boner. I mean, like Hector, shout out to Hector. I don't know what he's up to, but he got me all the time, every shift. I started do. punching him in the dick. Oh, nice. He liked that, yes. though. Like, that didn't deter him. Hey. What's Blanquita. <laughs> no, they used to call me Chaparita. Chaparita, what's that mean? Shorty, like a little shorty. Little shorty? But then they oh, started wow. calling me Abuelita, which I did not like. What's that mean? A little grandmother. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and the Mexicans. <laughs> Fuck you, immigrant losers. Little, little... USA, build the wall. Yeah. Michael Rowland has a great fucking bit about Mexicans right now and how funny they are. But it is true that they are so hilarious. When I used to work in construction, first of all, they first of all, grabbing dicks all day. All day. All day, every day, grabbing dicks. No more moleste. It's insane. <laughs> I'm carrying like fucking five big cinder They're blocks. Coming for They're you. grabbing your dicks. And they love gay. So I don't think I've yeah. ever gotten a bigger laugh in my life. We're on a construction site, it's the Bronx. We're on like the 12th. So we're building this, the high rise straight up. So you're on the, the roof. It's the 12th floor, and I showed one of the guys. I, I put my finger through my jeans. Right, the class, that So it looks like a penis. Classic. And everyone, there's a big, huge circle of and everyone stops working, and everyone's like, Way! and they all start clapping. <laughs> and then a friend, one of the other guys comes over and starts pulling it, and they're like, oh! Like, I mean, crushing. They, they, Maricon! They brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chupamela pinga! Blanquito! <laughs> yeah, so much fun. I worked with this one... Um, and I had a friend come visit me at work. Her name was Lacey. So I was like, oh, this is my friend Lacey. And he was like, why her parents name her Lacey? She work hard. <laughs> and I was like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Did you do it on stage? No. Oh, that's so funny. It's funny. Are you kidding me? It's the greatest thing you've ever said. That is it. I don't like how you say shit like that. Like my other stuff isn't better than my silly little Mexican joke. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, it's in. It's in the act. Look out for it. Why are you so lazy? <laughs> why, why, why she look so lazy? She work, no? <laughs> she work hard, no? Why are her parents? They name her lazy. <laughs> she gonna be lazy. They, 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 name, <laughs> they name her lazy. She gonna be lazy. What do you expect? <laughs> Mexicans are great. What's that called? There is a thing called, there's like this kind of, uh, where you fulfill the na your name. You, like, you, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever? Of your name, yeah. Like, so like, you know, people call like you fat. Smith or something right. are more likely to become blacksmiths or that's a bad example, but you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. So if people call you like, I don't know. Whatever your name is. The N-word, you're more likely to shop. If your name is Hope, you'll be full of hope. Well, not me. I'm, my name would be Black Hunt. Dick. <laughs> I'll be full of that. Black. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So this is Black Just Dick. Just kidding. Wait, I have a new Irish boyfriend. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, so this is what I've invited over <laughs> Yes. That. So you can ask it like, is, well, this, just, is, is he things... weird or is this regular Irish stuff? <laughs> <laughs> this is it, so he keeps <laughs> he keeps telling me that you guys have to put yeah. fingers in assholes. <laughs> it's an Irish thing. He shit his pants. He's at all the Irish. He's people like, should. we all do that. Yes. Oh, okay, that's fair. All right. So where's he from? Limerick. Nice. That's rough. Stab City. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to like maybe like try to like get some facts in my head that'll just roll off my tongue like I knew them already when I like talked to him. <laughs> You want some limerick facts? Okay. No, like I, I don't. Know. Like, <laughs> like I'm, that, that was like. Do you have any? I'm startled. No, there's no I'm limerick. Startled. There's no limerick. There's no limerick fact. There's a, not a single fact about limerick. Yeah. It's just a. It's a. It's just dangerous. It's just a rough. It's like yeah. It's just like. What rough. type? What city would you compare it to in America or the United, the continental uh, United like States? Like the Bronx, maybe. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. But on it's stage. like country. It'd be it'd be countryside Bronx. So it'd be. That's interesting, though. It, but so it's not like close to Dublin. It's it's on its own. So it'd be like almost like if you were to like maybe South Philly or something. I don't know where like okay. where a rough part of Philly. That's kind of more like how it. Not be. as built up as a city. No. Yeah. 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 It's out there, but th they are city people. But it's a small city and it's away from Dublin. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Irish cities would be considered villages in, in America. Compared to America. Yeah, but we call it a city because right. it has 10 people. Like, Woo! <laughs> and it has a hospital, doesn't it? <laughs> it has a, a medical tent. There's a firefighter. <laughs> 17 pubs. There is a... <laughs> One fire. Yeah. And I'm the I'm, worst person. I can't I, wait to go to Ireland. I really, You've never been? No, I really think I'm keeping this new boyfriend and I'm going to get nice. there. Yeah, my, my girl wants to get married in Ireland now suddenly. Of course you have to. Yeah, My mother thinks I'm marrying this 26-year-old. Isn't it funny, though, but women, 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 the whole... 
We marry the her whole, there. The whole time, it's like, <laughs> no, just a little, let's just put the money to But then when you get hands, closer to just it. Just a little thing, just a little get together. Well, that's how she tricked no, you yeah, into no, staying. No, no, do this, no, do it's that. Brilliant. Next thing you know, it's like, get the fucking loan I'm out on the ring. Yes. castle in Ireland. Yeah. In fairness, you only get married a few times. So you might Colin. as well splash out and you might as well allow your Colin, father-in-law to spend. you have one shot and it's this girl. Don't miss your... <laughs> chance to blow yeah no that is true that is true okay i just wish i didn't have so much potential for what <laughs> i'm about to be famous <laughs> somebody like young models <laughs> just shut up marry her start having kids because then Ooh, yeah 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 you'll need the dog to protect something how many is reckless kids. six six yeah yeah that's fair i would like to have six that'd be fun all boys no trans <laughs> All trans. They are what they become. What a coincidence! You, all my kids. You name them trans. All my kids were born wrong. I don't know. This diversity hire thing seems to be working in their favor. Do you see those two men like won bike races in Ohio, but they're they're women now? They came in first and second. They beat. Maybe it was Ohio, Nicole. I'm probably wrong. You know, I'm fucking stupid. But they beat these cyclists. Beat these other chicks. All these pictures. They're towering over these women. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And yeah. that other woman went on that guy's show and talked about how Riley Gaines is like not help. Is that it? All right. Outside of sport. Yeah. All right. Out, outside of sport and outside of women prisons where they just go in and dominate. Is there is there really an issue with trans people? Existing? No. Of no, not existing. Not. But like, is there other people who go, uh, they're also dominating now finance or whatever. Like, <laughs> well, they have a man they, brain. They, they don't get the press, you know, because <laughs> everyone's focused on a fucking college swimmer. <laughs> Like I'm saying, there has to be this cutthroat lawyer is just dominating everything because he's mm. a mean man. A trans, that trans girl That's who works. Kind of the, a cute. A trans woman who works the stand now. She's cute, right? Who's trans? What's her name? Tracy. The big one. I mean, Let sorry. Call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please, please, please. That's the clip. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> That was not The big one? I don't think there's a trans woman. Stop, I'm not doubling down on that. <clears throat> Sometimes big can mean tall. That's what I meant. Tall. The tall one. Anyway. How many fashion shows have you gone to? It's New York Fashion I was week. in a fashion show when I was a kid. I knew you were about to light up. Like I said, my mother worked in retail. Mm -hmm. She worked for like a high end. Why did you have like rainbow suspenders and a big green couldn't hat? Even, couldn't remember that, but I do remember walking down the catwalk. Like, <laughs> I was only like six. I picture you like... <laughs> Oh, I love that. Are you kidding me? Big ham. Yeah, I grabbed the mic. Let me do a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did that, man. But having gone to a fashion show, I truly, I don't know if I could care less about that. Yeah. Maybe I'd, if Emily Ratchikowski was there, I'd like hang out. You like her? Yeah, isn't she? You love women, huh? Love them. <laughs> love them. Any shape, any size, big, tall. Yeah, I found. I uh, so there's a girl. There's a girl called El. There's a girl called Elsie Hewitt. She used to date um, Benny Banano or whatever that DJ's name is. Elsie Hewitt. I think she might be the. I don't follow her on Instagram because she was like just like hurt my heart. Breaking your heart. Yeah, she's so beautiful. And then I, I know a guy who fucked her. I found out the other night. I know a guy who fucked her and it like broke my heart kind of in this weird way. Yeah. You know those like those fantasies of like that's your dream. Yes, of girl course. Type of thing. Do you know the Bree Ski girl? Yeah, uh, Sky, 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 Sky Bree. Is it? She's like, her body to me is absurd. Yeah. Like the way that her hips go out. Yeah. Yeah. She And she was just, yeah. But she got a boyfriend, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go for him. Oh, I also love Emily Willis. She's yeah. my favorite porn star. Do you know yeah. Emily Willis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only know, I honestly, I only know them from uh, podcasts and stuff. They're like YouTuber kind of porn stars. That's the yeah. new thing. She's Back also gotten roles in like real movies. Oh, yeah? Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Emily. Mainstream. Look at her. Emily She's such a sweet. And like no augmentation to her body. I think that's something I really like. I don't know how you guys jerk off to some of these like BBL, like big fake tits and the big lips thing. It's to me, it's like it's a blow up doll. There's nothing beautiful about it. I know, but it's not like it's not like. Your vari variety is a spice of life, baby. I get, I <laughs> Nothing wrong with that like, Cuban maid. You can being come forced. to that that fantasy. A Cuban maid thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cuban maid is good. Yeah, but big I, fat ass, big fake tits, whatever. And she's like, "What about well, stepmom? Go, How much I'll, I'll pay you if you if you clean my house naked?" And she goes, "Uh, oh, uh, okay." <laughs> 
And then you just like jerking off. And then she's like, oh, I can't help it. I'm overcome with horniness by you jerking off. Has that ever happened? Has that a guy ever been jerking off on the train? And some girl just like, I just gotta, I gotta suck it off. Absolutely not. By the way, I've never seen anyone jerk. I think I've only ever seen, I think I've seen one person jerk off. A guy in the, jerked in the off. nine years in America. Yeah, well, you're not turning them on. Like, they, you're not what they're looking for. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Brush your hair. I get on the train and you hear all the guys go, oh. Ugh, we're trying to jerk off. That ugly lesbian's here again. Oh, God, the smelly Irish guy. <laughs> <laughs> I got jerked off at the guy. I was like, nice. I was um, eating a salad and it was like, you know, floor to ceiling windows, New York Street. And this guy just came right for me, Afro. And I was just like, one did, I didn't want to get up. I was hungry. I was tired. I wanted to finish my salad. So I did. I just like ate my salad. And I like look up. He's like still like, uh. and I was like, can you just like move over? And he shifted over to the girl next to me. He's like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> he just kept... Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. 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 My bad. Yeah. Oh, this, oh, girl, I didn't realize. this one. Fine. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking. Sorry. 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 <laughs> now, because I just hear people talk about the jerking off on the train so much. And what about like, shitting or pissing? I've seen people leak out of their assholes and oh, piss. I saw a guy taking a shit yeah. on a bench. Yeah. And it was one of those like railing benches. So right. it's like just. He, he made his own squatty potty. There's like gaps in it. So he was shitting on the bench and it was like falling through the gaps. Double. In, he's like he, double rainbow. Yeah. He was. It was it Double was, fountain poop. It was wild. I was like, you're better off just shitting on the floor. Why would you even. <laughs> they have to have fun too. Yeah. But he's like smudging it against his. Of course. He, call him. They're great. The guy's <laughs> shitting on the street. I mean, why don't you just go to the corner and say a prayer? Why don't you just shit at work? You know who was funny last night? This guy, Malik, and I forget his last name. It's like SL, S Carousel. S it's not Carousel, but I kept using the word Carousel to yeah, remind. Yeah, uh, like an, an email was there. E e email. E email. I, 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 I say email in my head, and then I go email. I go email. Email, email. email. and then I go email. You want to know the thing about email? Well, the first time I ever like hosted and brought him up, I brought him up as Emil Hussein. Oh. That's not his last name. What is it? I don't know. Never got to the second half of the. I never asked. I was like, email, email. It's like, you know, I'm like, I'm with email. And they go, who? Which one? You know, which email? Email Watkins. Straight, too. He is? Yeah, he has a girlfriend. I bet she's really pretty. I think so. Yeah, he's just, I guess he's just a nice guy. And in my world, I'm like, pff, gay. Can you look up Malik, M A L E K, and J F L? This guy was super funny last Did night. Did you want to me to me? Did you want to me to me? Oh, I forgot I was going to do that. Go for it. You were going to lift up my shirt last night. I did not lift up your shirt. I lifted up a little bit. You were bit. jokingly going to lift it up and then... I stopped myself. Chris Vega. There he is. Alassal. Carousel. Alassal. <laughs> oh, he's like French or something. I was talking to that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Canadian. He's funny. He French was talking Canadian about guy? the Jews and Kanye and yeah. Israeli tanks and stuff. He was like... He, he was starting to get people to repeat like the... Uh, Muslim, how you how you like convert? You just say like one phrase in Islam, and like he was getting the whole crowd to be like ha la 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 la. He was gonna <laughs> convert us. Oh wow, yeah, he was funny. He's like a cartoon character. He's like yeah, yeah he's kind of yeah. like the Muslim Woody Allen in a way, a little. Yeah, 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 Muzzy Muzzy Pink Panther. But then Chris Fager da comes da up ten minutes later, Allah. and he's like, oh, Allah, no, Allah, your Allah. Shirt up. that was not bad. Allah, 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 Allah. That to America. <laughs> Happy 9-12. God. Yes. Wow. Oh, imagine if you were here during 9-11. It'd be all smoky. You would have been right right in the, the fucking, right in the... the... It's still, they, there's still traffic here every year. I mean, it's just as bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, <laughs> I still can't get home sometimes because of the fucking police and everything celebrating their loss or whatever. <laughs> Yes, that's what they're doing. <laughs> we'll never call them. I'm they're, never invited. Yeah, they're like the Patriots. They just won't get let go of all those rings. You the know, Patriots lost to the Eagles. You're probably an Eagles fan because you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> all right. Do you care about American football? Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't care too much. I, I support the Packers, but I'm not like why. Um, Green? I just picked a random team when I moved here. Green. I was I was working at a bar, and then there was someone like, "You need a team," and then I liked Aaron Rodgers. And I was like, ah, I'll just do them. He's out for the season. <laughs> the Jets, dude. <laughs> talk <laughs> the about. The worst loss ever. Let's talk about Jets, baby. baby. Let's talk about poop and pee. Let's talk about how bad they are. And he hurt yeah. his knee. Let's talk about the Jets. Talk about Jets. You're simply the Jets. Jets. Dun, 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 dun. You 
screws into <laughs> all the, the rest. rest. <laughs> Jets fucking this, this stink. Is, this is a new shit on Jets podcast. <laughs> J-E-T-S. Suck, suck, suck. Yes. Damn. Whatever. The Patriots fucking stink too. Yeah. I really thought Rodgers was going to win the win the Super Bowl this year. With Aaron Rodgers. Wow. Well, I, I just were, thought it was like just poet. poet. Like it, it was felt, just. It was the, the universe that created it. And then immediately. Oh. I, a lot of people don't like Aaron Rodgers because of his um, anti-vaxxing stuff. Well, f- let's hear it. Tell Call him. him. Tell him all oh, to suck my <laughs> dick. Aziz Ansari, right, went on uh, in the middle of his special. Was like, uh, guys, you're mad at Aaron Rodgers. He's just a dumb jock. And I go, I promise you, he knows more about his body. He's worth more than your fucking whole fucking Indian fam. I agree fam. with you. What the fuck are you talking about? Because he's not a smart guy. He just likes tacos. He's not intelligent. I've never heard him say anything and, and smart. He's just a little Indian boy who loves fucking Farqua or whatever the fuck. He's talking about Aaron Rodgers. He's like, it, it, Aaron does. Aaron Rodgers' toe is worth mo- more. Like, of course they know what's going into their body. Yeah, and he um he would always he would do those like cool retreat things like the remember he went into like that soundproof box or whatever and didn't talk to anybody for a while. Aaron Rodgers did. Yeah, yeah he's a bit wacky like that. He's a bit of a witch doctor for sure. Yeah, he, like yeah. He, I think it's like yeah, sound you, you, and yeah. light deprivation. You know, right now there's like some sort of a shaman but, like waving chicken bones at him right now <laughs> like the, the, on the his fucking leg I know. <laughs> I know some like witch doctor <laughs> spitting blood in his face oh, yeah, oh, my, it's um, from a uh, goat uh, they say he's uh, apparently he's a closet in the closet but I, he dated um Danica remember Danica he, I don't know who that is the other one he dated Danica Danica Patrick I think he race da- car driver no idea that she's is like all. the only woman race car driver there was a I think I'm, I'm not right about this I'm not sure if I'm right about this I'm pretty sure he dated whatever oh the, Olivia Munn is that the girl that um, John Mulaney got yes. pregnant? Yes. So Olivia Munn then went on a podcast and was like, I used to fuck this NFL quarterback and he would only ever fuck me in, in yeah, the dark oh. from behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matt, does that mean you're gay for sure? I mean, I'd like to look at Olivia Doesn't, Munn's yeah, tits and I am a straight than- woman. Like, I'd like to look at her from the front and I'm not attracted yeah. to women sexually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He seemed like a good guy. Who's that? Like Is that him. his girlfriend now? But then what about Djokovic? Djokovic? He loves brunettes. Yeah. He looks great there. That's Olivia Munn there, is it? Yeah. What is she? Olivia's is she an actress, so a singer? What is she? Actress. I just know her as like a person who's around. Actress. Um, but she hangs out with comedians. Like she's like friends with Whitney Cummings and stuff. Everyone's Whitney Cummings is friends with anyone who's worth more than a million dollars. <laughs> um someday she'll be our friend, Colin. She won't I- text me back. <laughs> Why would you? Why do all these celebrities give me their number and then never reply to any of the millions of texts I send? Maybe it's the amount that you're texting. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> because how do they know I'm gonna send ten more? How do they know that? They they go this is when this is a leading text. Text does it turn blue or green? I don't know. Where's my phone? Let me read the text I sent to Burke Crusher. <laughs> he didn't reply. Where'd either. you put it? I don't know. My phone's over there. Should we read all of our celebrity texts? I don't have celebrities in my phone. Oh, I, let me read all of the messages I've ever sent to um, Whitney Cummins. That she's never replied. Does she's you, never replied. No, 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 no. You swear I was like trying to get back with an Do you ex. think she gave you a real phone number? Uh, maybe. I, it, it, it would be kind of cunty if she didn't. Well, I mean, if like like, that, like like hilariously cunty, like to be like, hey, stop DMing me. Here's my number, and then like, idiot. Should we ring her? That's what. <laughs> Yo, Whitney, got me special out tonight, Whitney. YouTube. <laughs> She's like, Whitney has pregnant. Huh? Yeah, who, who's the daddy? I I don't know. I heard it was like kind of like secret. Like a secret. Let me see all the texts I've sent to Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings, look at this. It's all just me. Oh, no, look. she replied once. What did I, she say? I said, I don't Please know. Please reserve using this number for emergency. <laughs> <laughs> yo bro yo dog she she dogging you dog it's always just me being very politely going hey i'm in town can i do your podcast hey whitney, i'm in town so whitney call, comma it's column turl i'm going to be in la on new year's eve at the store with Luis j gomez and i'm there for a few days after please for the love of god can you bring me to nobu or somewhere nice <laughs> damn I'm, I'm hilarious I'm too poor for nice food, and you're the richest woman. For, you wrote women. Whatever. You're, you're the richest women I've ever met, I think. I think. Thank you. Whitney Cummings. Hey, hey, I have Burt Roast tomorrow, you fucking asshole. She's probably been promoting that forever. You should have known that. 
Hey, hey, I have Burt Rose tomorrow and mom dying. Oh, yeah, that was bad. I forgot about that. That's rough. <laughs> hey, yo, bitch, can I go to No? Can you bring me to Nobu? It's I like, can't. yo, my dad, my mom died. I can't. Sorry. I can't. And Sorry about that sushi, tuts. <laughs> I, I, Whitney's like barely using I know. Pronunci- I mean, um, punctuation the- either. She's like, Burt Rose, mom dying. And I'm there going, <laughs> it's what she would have wanted for you to spend money on me. No, Nobu. she goes, could you text me Monday? So that was, she actually did want to hear from you again never again never to. never replied again how many texts did i send then loads it's not, it's not as bad as you think as it's, it's a lot it's more than appropriate look it's here's two, the problem it's two more here's one thing someone told me i don't text new york people like that because new york people hate that but someone was like in la it's like just they're all just fucking little rats so they're all used to just texts and calling yeah, and yeah, climbing. Yeah, yeah. so if i feel like they're just used to getting millions of texts that's a good way to like justify it for yourself yeah, but now that, no, no. <laughs> well, now that I, I got the special coming out, everything's changed. I just signed for an agency. Everything's changed. Everything's no more text. Changed. No more texting Whitney Blocker. <laughs> How dare she? No, she damaged she, goods now. She can't get back to you. Got that broken puss. <laughs> She'll probably have an elective C-section, so her pussy remains pristine. Yeah, some sort of a, a elite Hollywood, like out the mouth type of fucking surgery. That's how I'm doing mine. <laughs> out the belly button. No, that, I have that, baby fever now because I saw all these babies. When that baby comes out, there's going to be a storm and it's going to be. A <laughs> no. She's going to share all these pictures of the, her horses like breastfeeding. Oh, it no. And, like, She's going to ear placent, isn't she? Yeah, it's going to be the baby like sucking on the nipple of like one of her pipples. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll be a cool. Obviously, it'll be a cool, funny kid. Yeah. Just like. Well, well off anyway. I don't know. I kind of want like I saw I'd rather be rich. I saw all these good babies over the weekend. I saw like 10 good babies. Any bad babies? Yeah. Describe them. It's just like, how are you already fat at like two? That is. At two. Yeah. And they carry it all in their face. I would. Hmm. That's so fucked up. I would smack my wife if she made my kids fat. (laughs) I think that's fair. (laughs) Is that a fair thing to say? Uh, most of the babies this, are so it, cute. C- c- yeah, but don't don't be a fat kid. That's no, crazy. Know. Most of the kids don't like you see that the adults that made them in their little tiny faces. Like this uh, one of them, uh, this little boy was so fucking cute. I, he was like, oh, he was so cute. And this other girl, <laughs> 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 she's clucking. You clucking? Yeah. And this other little girl was like going fake grocery shopping, and she kept bringing her goods up to me, and I would ring her up and charge oh, her. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I would just like kept looking at her mom, being like, she hasn't paid for any of this. I don't think she's. Yeah, kids rule. It's it's it, they're, they're a, a, a weird joy in this otherwise painful existence. I mean, I kept my nephew alive for like twelve hours, like all by myself. My sister left. Like I was the you f- babysit your kid. You babysit your sister's kid. And you my ne- my nephew. I kept him alive. I did call him. Why? What? What was he trying to do? Eat poison and stuff. No, I'm just saying. Like they all kind of complain. Like the parents, they act like it's hard, but. I did it just fine. I made mac and cheese and I ate out of the pan and got him a bowl. It's fine. It's easy. He's a really good the baby. The problem is, is they're overanalyzing all of these little microaggressions and stuff with their kids. And you're like, well, don't, don't tell them they're not allowed to have soda because then they're going to create like a food fucking thing in their head, all this type of shit. Just let them roam the streets. <laughs> I know. They're fine. Well, they say that like kids learn best from being out in the environment and like falling down and doing. And then we like put them into this classroom and like there's like neon lighting and yeah. they have to sit in a box and then they, they stop learning. Yeah, just let them, just they'll be fine. Let them roam the streets. I'd rather have a kid that could like go out in the wild and build fire and like has like dirt under his fingernails. Yeah, yeah. Well, any kid that's as uh, hygienic as me, if my kids are as hygienic as me, they'd be fine. They'll build up all the tolerance because I'm a scruffy (laughs) man. I'm telling you, I'm an absolute pig when it comes to... Washing yourself? Yeah. Did you watch the documentary about the Boy Scouts? No. Oh, uh, it's called Scouts Honor, and it's just about how they were bu- fucking all those kids, all those little boys. Louis had a great point where he was like, all these, all these pedophiles created a great thing. They created the Boy Scouts, and they would yeah. bring kids out, and they would teach them how to like camp, and they would give them all these opportunities, and, and they, but they were also fucking them. So then we got rid of the fucking, and now there's no Boy Scouts, so you kind of got to weigh up the... Do we allow pedophiles to be around so that kids can have a good childhood and right. camp or do we just get rid of camping and then 
Well, it's like kind of like, you know, they were teaching them like survival skills, but like how do they survive a butt rape? If I told you I was a Boy Scout camp leader and my kid, I didn't have kids. That's, and I, I mean, and, and what I, are you doing? It, that's creepier than it's me going, so I'm weird. fucking them. I had a teacher in high school that used to go on a trip with like the senior guys and like it would be like no parents and they'd be like off the grid and they'd like sleep outside and camp. And I used to be like, Mr. Golden is gay. Like Mr. Golden's so gay the way he acts. He's fucking these guys. There's no, and his like Volkswagen van, 100%, 100%. And hey, here's a, here's a, here's a controversial take. Very Milo. What, Yaman, gays are cool? Yaman and Yamanikas. Yamanika? I, I, I feel like, I feel like the age of consent for a gay men should be like low. You know Come I mean? on! I feel no. like I think if I think a fifteen-year-old boy can suck. stop it, Colum. Fifteen? He's allowed to su- suck He's off. He's taking her. advantage. <laughs> the old the man is taking advantage. All right, get, let's give it. Let's have an age gap, like you know, you, you're like a, eighteen. A, a twenty-two-year-old is allowed to fuck a fifteen-year-old boy. <laughs> no, you, you're trying to transfer it from what you think heterosexual should be to gay. No, I think both are wrong. No, ask you. So you're saying women are dumber, so it should be yeah, higher. Yeah, women are fragile, little fucking weak. Men things. are tough, so they should get butt raped. Yeah, but no guy. I think sodomy is worse than regular. The problem is, rape. a man doesn't. No man fucks someone and then like has some sort of an emotional atta- attachment to that, whereas women can develop that. So you're saying the women will fall in love with their attackers? That's the that's that's, that's, that's the that's, idea. That's how that's how I get them. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have a little haram. I, what what were they saying? It's the Jewish form of haram last night. Traif, I think. Well, when you have like a gaggle of women. No, haram means bad. Is like it? Shame. I thought I thought haram meant you have like uh, haram is like a stable of whores type no, of thing. That's I've a, got like six girlfriends. That's a harem. H a r e m. Oh. Haram means shame, like bad. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, that's a harem. I have a harem of girls. Correct. Exhausting. <laughs> Exhausting. <laughs> That's the whole thing. You hear about all these Mormons with like eight wives, and you go, "Yikes!" Yeah, but they take care Yikes. of the house and they clean, and they have fifteen thousand fucking kids, and some of them work. Well, that one lady went to jail though. That YouTube lady who had like eight kids. She was like chaining her kids up and starving them. Mormon. Gap in the market. She saw what there was out there. Yeah. She was Mormon. Yeah. She wasn't anything. She was just a big fat. She wasn't abusive fat. pig. No, different lady. Oh, the lady who just went to jail on YouTube. Uh, yeah, she had a- like Adventure a sh- Time or whatever it was called. Yeah, wasn't it? she, she wasn't was fat. Yeah, she was. She was a pig. Was she fat? Nicole? She was the definitive. I'm on a couch. <clears throat> What's her name? What is it? What did you say? That one, dear looker. Oh, I thought it was a different. That Wait, be- who's over in the right? That's who I thought we were talking um, about. The pretty blonde. That's oh, oh, who's- oh, just two of them. Yeah, wow. that's who I was talking about. Do you reckon about. they know each other? Like, like, like fucking <laughs> like, Jeffrey Dahmer and, 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 and <laughs> abusing the kids like, today. <laughs> they all respect each other's work. They go, ooh, ooh, got mine all chained up before ten. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon the blonde one looks at that big fat one the way I look at Shane Gillis? <laughs> <laughs> He's so retarded and ugly. Oh, he doesn't even look good. I'm so jealous. He pulls off looking terrible so well. I love how in your mind you look like the blonde. <laughs> I am the blonde. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that white tee. That's me. Her one of her kids escaped and ran to a neighbor, and I begged for food and water. Yeah, that's a, that's the same shit with the fat one. The fat one tells that sort of fat one realize there's money to be made in YouTube, especially kids mm. stuff, because that's where the best advertising money mm, is. Yeah. And uh, so she adopted, she went to an orphanage and was like, can I have like eight of these? And oh they're like, yeah, of course. We can't like, give well, them. make it a bigger dozen. They were like, <laughs> I'll you four for the first fifth. Throw in a chocolate frosted for free. <laughs> <laughs> You're like sampling them to like an ice cream place. Mm, <laughs> can, I, can I have a little, 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 can I have a little Moroccan? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but so she had that's that. That's disgusting. So she took in special needs kids from the orphanage oh my god and then she fucking she probably thinks these ones are going to be low maintenance yeah it's mac she, and cheese she, she had, she had breakfast like, lunch and she had dinner. them like chained to a radiator and then she would all day every day her kid her real sons fil- film the kids and they would put them into like some stupid like tv show it's called adventure time or adventure something and she was Is trying it still on you no 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 they had to take it down it was evidence in court like right, it was, right, it was right. child abuse <laughs> yeah. still getting hits yeah but uh yeah of course it was a great show i, I <laughs> I just want a finale, you know? <laughs> you know when they cancel a show and they give you the... I, said, I just want, I don't have closure. The adventure. Talk, mm, but uh, yeah. One so the, they had special needs, like mental special needs? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They're all like uh, some sort of... Autistic, sp- probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, adventure time. Put on your helmets. Where's, how about up. this? This is what I was thinking. I was only... Fantastic I, adventure, so... Sorry. What? I only f- I floated this idea to myself. Where mm-hmm. I was like, maybe I should like be a... a, 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 a what, what you call it? An orphan dad. 
<laughs> I should be like an orphan dad. Okay. <laughs> you want to get just orph kids that were abandoned? I'll take in some fucking troubled black child. Some 12 year old just boy. So you can use him in your act. Who's, who's, yeah. Just, <laughs> but I'm just going to take him in and then go, yo, you can just live here and yeah. I'll look after you and right. I'll point you in the right direction. Don't steal my shit. That would be horrible if you if you took in an orphan and then he stole that, all your shit. I've seen that though when people try to adopt like thirteen some like teenager like kids who are already kind of like fucked up of and course, been through yeah. it. Like it's, it's, I saw my this woman Amy. I can't know. help them. <laughs> it's too late. Lost cause. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> she, gave you. Each- she was so sweet. She was in her fifth. She took him to Italy. She like did all this stuff for this kid. She put him in school and stuff. And then he just fucking Beat was her like. Up. Uh, yeah, I think they did. They, I think they did gotten, got, they got into a couple fights. He like, <laughs> he like stole from her. She was like putting him through a private school. He was just like, it was chance after chance after chance. I remember. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt bad. I was just even, I, I rewarded myself for the, even the concept of going, I'm a nice guy to nice even guy. Think, think about adopting like, a 12 year old black like kid. like an urban, like 16 year old. He starts fucking your girl. It would be kind of weird. But it's also weird. Again, <laughs> it's steals. weird if you're not fucking. It's like more weird if you're not fucking them. It's like, what are you doing? You're just bringing you just in a 12 year old boy into your house? Care for them? It's like weird. It's like, mm. yeah. It's like, you know who's very nice to his detriment? Super nice guy. Shout out Ralph Barbosa. Right. But he's so nice, it creeped me out. I met him and I was like, hey man, I saw your clips. Very funny. He was like, Oh, thanks, man. And he's like, and I was like, where are you based? He's like, I'm in Dallas. I was like, I'm going to Dallas like in two months. And he was like, man, let me know. It would be an honor for me to show you around my city. And mm. I was like, what are you fucking going to rape me? What that's are you that's fucking that's weirdo? Like you fucking... Don. It was literally like first thing he said to me. And I was like, well, I have to walk away going. It would be an honor. Why is, why is he so nice? I'm like looking over him. What's he, what's he up to? What? Somebody's filming him. An, yeah. This is a character piece. Yeah, of course. But he's genuinely just a, a nice guy. He's a sweetie boy. But I don't, like I don't trust boy. nice people. I was raised not to trust nice people. My mother did the same thing to me. But I don't right. think, are it's they? <laughs> Bill, the Bill Cosby's of the world. Anyone that's like walking around, hey. Well, it's like phony. Like yeah. my mom just cannot. No, but anyone, always, the priests, the fucking, um, the scout leaders, anyone that teaches. The Dalai fucking, Lama. What, what was he doing? He sucked on a kid's tongue. Uh, that was more like a choreograph type of thing. That wasn't like, he wasn't getting off on sucking on his tongue. Oh, he wasn't? I don't think so. I thought he like made a little boy suck on his tongue. Yeah, but for religious purposes. That's not a religion. <laughs> it is, it is. No it's, one, it's in there. Yeah, it's my new one. Didn't Job say that too? It's like, yeah, my mom was always like, if I, I would be like, oh, they're my best friend. I lo- if I ever said I loved my friends, that mm. irritated the shit out of me. Oh, no, I don't know about that, but I just don't. I, I've never, I was raised to never trust anyone who's like, puts themselves in situations where like I'm a nice person everyone look at how nice I am because yeah. they're like they're hiding something yeah whereas then people that I meet who are really cunty and like you I'm like oh that's a person that's a nice person <laughs> you're demented wow. no I know we're the same it's fine I'm much more likely to be friend. I have a lot of friends who no one else likes because I'm like at least I know what I'm getting from oh, this but yeah I I feel the same way sometimes I don't like a negative person though mm. Sometimes it's like, if you, whatever, you can be like shitty and like talk a lot of shit as long as it's funny all the time. But sometimes there's like a negativity that, like a negative fume that comes from some people that I'm yeah. just like, say something. Or, I want an optimistic or, cunt. Yeah, That's what yeah. I want. An optimistic cunt where it's like, today's going to be a fucking, <laughs> I don't know actually, what's an optimistic? I'm going to fuck up today. Someday something. my life won't be terrible. <laughs> and That's what I want. <laughs> I don't mind. Them. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. One day I'll enjoy myself. I won't. I believe that there's happiness eventually around the corner. Are we gonna wrap this up? Because I gotta let Mabel out. Um, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. I love her so All right, much. Was that good? Was that enjoyable? For me? For everyone? Yes, they love you. They're always happy to see you. Return guests. This is a you are among an upper echelon. Yeah, every time I come here, there's a new dog. What? There's a new. Dog. Every time I come here, there's a new dog. <laughs> Colum remembers Ernest, who died. Ernest, Ernest went to heaven. Oh, Ernest, Ernest. Ernest goes to heaven. Yeah, Ernest went to heaven with a fucking mouth tumor. Was that what that was? A yeah. mouth tumor? Yeah, he had a tumor on the back of his tongue. What, do you bite on your phone or something? What happened? <laughs> How'd you get a tumor in your mouth? I used to just shit down his throat every day. People were like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, it's good, like protein or whatever. And then it's like, he has a tumor. But my shit was good luck. All right, well, watch the special. Thanks for listening. Tell them all. Tell them. If I get if I get half a million views, mm. I'm gonna okay. get I'm gonna get a dog. All okay. right, folks. Oh.
That's good. I believe in you. Half a mil. Let's get him there, you guys. I'd be happy with 100K. All right, thanks. (laughs) Watch my special, please. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, too. Follow him on Instagram. Just give it a click and leave it. it, Oh, leave a comment that says R.I.P. Mabel. <laughs> don't kill Do Mabel. That. No. No. no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You're the one. Er, <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, Ernest. Yeah, yeah, Mabel's sorry, only sorry, two. Sorry. No, Mabel's, no, no. Mabel's, Mabel's yeah, only write, two. Write a comment that says R.I.P. Mabel. No. And send <laughs> no. flowers in, in, no. lieu, in lieu of flowers. Leave a comment. <laughs> Buy a super thanks. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>